I would like to uh, discuss one important point. Have you heard about coronary dominance? Coronary dominance. This is again a very favorite question for the examiners. Coronary dominance means it is actually decided by looking upon one single artery. So which is the artery? It is the posterior interventricular artery. So if it is coming from the right coronary artery, you call it as right dominance. You say that that person is having right dominance. Suppose if this posterior interventricular branch is coming from the left coronary artery, what will you say? Then we say that that person is having left coronary dominance. Suppose imagine uh, you have posterior interventricular branches coming from both coronaries, both right and left. What do you call that condition? That condition is known as co-dominance and that is said to be um, uh, what a balanced type. That means you have the posterior interventricular branch coming from both right and left. So at this juncture, I would like to ask which is most dangerous, uh, whether it is right, whether it is left or co-dominance. What will happen in right coronary dominance? Right coronary dominance is the branches which we have discussed right now. So in right coronary dominance, if you just have a look at the interventricular septum, what will happen? The anterior two-third will be coming from the left coronary. Posterior, posterior inferior aspect will be supplied by the right coronary because the posterior interventricular branch is a branch of right coronary in right coronary dominance. What will happen in left coronary dominance? In that case, anterior two-third will be supplied by the left coronary. The posterior interventricular branch in left coronary dominance is coming from which artery? Left coronary. So posterior inferior aspect of the interventricular septum will also be supplied by left coronary. That means in left coronary dominance, the entire interventricular septum will be ultimately supplied by the left coronary artery. So suppose you imagine if you just may uh, get a block in the left coronary artery, what will happen? The entire interventricular septum will suffer. So that is why we say that left coronary uh, dominance is more dangerous compared to the right coronary dominance. And what about co-dominance? -do co-dominance is always safe because you have the branches from both right and left supplying the interventricular septum. And you have the two posterior interventricular branches in co-dominance. Okay? So that is said to be the safest.